The Eccles special, one basic land. Brother, I have a Restless Reef in play. What? Did they just forget about the Restless Reef? Young Peasy. You can't make it up, folks. I'm on! <laughs>All right, folks, we are moving along kind of smoothly on another episode of Donation Deck Thursday. And what we have here from Sir Eccles, big shout out to Sir Eccles. Thank you again for the donation. We are playing some Proft. Now, we've uh, been doing quite a bit of Profts in Standard. That's really where we started finding the card and kind of exploring what else we can do with it. And uh, it turns out that there's this particular card in Pioneer that happens to draw three cards for one mana, which is extremely good with Profs. But yeah, Profs is very good with Cruise. That's kind of the idea that we're going for here. Still, you know, we're taking some of the inspiration from the standard deck with Ledger Shredder, Evangel of Synthesis, um, and then the one mana cards like Consider. And then Pioneer also gives you access to Fatal Push and Thoughtseize, which gives you more one mana cards to trigger Shredder, which then fills your graveyard for Cruise, etc., etc., uh, we're also choosing to play Fable the Mirror Breaker because Fable the Mirror Breaker draws you additional cards. Very good with profs. And then we also have a card here that I am a little skeptical of, uh, but Sir Eccles was kind of insistent on playing it, so we'll give it a shot. It is Improbable Alliance, which says whenever you draw your second card each turn, you make a 1-1 flyer, and then you can pay 6 to draw a discard, which you're probably not going to get to 6 mana that often in this deck, but that option is available to you. But it is kind of nice to get additional flying bodies that gives you stuff to put more counters on with props, so that is kind of cool. Um, is a charm also draw discard pretty it's a good utility spell that also happens to have some synergy with profs so you kind of see how everything is working out here um you know i the list looks pretty cool i'm just not sure how like it is extremely grindy and i'm just not exactly sure that that's what's what pioneer is currently about so we'll uh, we'll have to see how it plays out but i, I do like the look of the deck and uh, i'm excited to see how uh, everything shakes up so let's do it not exactly sure what to expect here i haven't played pioneer in a little bit yeah is there a lot of vampires I'm guessing. All right, I would love to play first. Thank you so much for asking. Little Gigantha to start us off. I really need to find a land here. Any lands, please. Is it going to fill the yard fast enough for Cruise? I think so. Between, like, you have... You have what? You have Fairy Dream Thief, Ledger Shredder... Fable the Mirror Breaker is a charm. I, th I think you have enough stuff. I think it'll be fine. How is Pure Modern getting streamed? It's just going to be on my channel. Pure Modern is going to be streamed on my channel. And I I'll just be doing some commentary on it. I'll be like watching matches because it's all going to be played on Magic Online. So I get to spectate and watch matches and such. But yeah, don't forget chat. Pure Modern, April 7th. That is not this upcoming Sunday, but the next Sunday. Obviously, this Sunday is Easter. Um, so yeah, not this Sunday, but the next Sunday after. Ooh. As a matter of fact, I think I'll cast this Thought Seize that I drew. Kind of want to take Get Lost. Because we can pay for Sensor on Alliance, and they can't, um, they can't Saw Coming this turn, because they have a tapped White Source. So I think I'm going to take the Get Lost and just try to set up Alliance. That's the plan. Okay, they do have a tap lands. So they can't counterspell the Alliance this turn. So we're just going to jam that. Like, kind of sucks missing my land drop, but it should be fine. Let's go blue, red. What stage you like exactly negate? Planet of the Sea. Accidentally registered your standard blue black list in a match of Explorer. Somebody did 5-0 with, with the list in Pioneer. They changed up a couple of cards, right? Like, it's it's pretty nice that you get Thoughtseize, Fatal Push, Treasure Cruise. You, you get a lot more cards, even if you just want to be blue-black. So you do quite a good number of upgrades. I kind of want to pass and just hold up Charm, because we know they have a Counterspell here. So if they cast Deluge, I can let it resolve and then draw two. I think that's my plan. I could counter the Deluge. It also could be better to just try to counter a Wrath, but they're not even necessarily like forced into casting a Wrath here because I don't have a lot of pressure. This is a bit awkward. All right, I'm going to discard a Angel Blackleaf and just hope to rip a land next turn on tap land because then I can go Profs, Cruise, pay for Sensor. I think this is right. It's close, though. It's very close. Okay, that is certainly not an untap land. I mean, I guess it's fine. We could just lead with Cruise, but we know they have Sod coming. What sucks about this is they can saw coming the crews and censor the profs. So maybe I let them counter this. And then if they don't counter this, just load up on the, the token. Yeah, I think leading with prop is fine. Okay, they just let it resolve, which is interesting. I mean, now I'm just going to go to combat. All right, target here. Hit them for five. 
So now they're probably going to Wrath this turn. Ideally, if they Wrath, they have to go a little bit lower on mana so they can't hold up a Counterspell. Maybe that's not the case, though. That's annoying. Extremely annoying, actually. Sure. I do play basics, right? One basic. <laughs> the Echo Special, one basic land. Just hope the Dodge Blue Eye Control never get Field of Ruin ever. I mean, it would be nice if they didn't find a Wrath, but I kind of assume they have one. Yep. So we know they still have Sensor, which means I have to lead with Cruz. Because if I, if I play Fable, they just Sensor it. Hmm. I mean, I can't let them Sensor me, right? So we just have to go Alliance Pass. Yeah, I just I, I don't want to let them get value off Sensor. Force them to cycle it. Third, get lost. It's kind of frustrating. Only match one, but I mean, I like this deck. I, I do like the look of it quite a bit. I think the addition of Cruise and Fable just gives a lot more juice to profs, which is nice. Seems like you have a lot more ways to, to utilize it. Five cards in the graveyard, huh? I mean, I guess, you know, if there is any good news, they only have two cards in hand, but they do have a Deluge in the graveyard. And they foretold a card, which saw it coming. So if I lead Fable, they saw it coming, but then I can play Dream Thief, I guess... I guess it is nice to force them to use the hard counter. Just like get the card get the hard counter out of their hand. Oh, I left up the worst possible mana that I could have, huh? That was not smart. <laughs> that was really not smart. Whoops. Yeah, I don't have any more basics. Surely they won't draw a third field of ruin, right? There's no way they're drawing a third field of ruin here. You cycled sensor after I told you I didn't have another basic? Brother, what? This is a hard counter. Why would they do that? They know I don't have another basic. Would have gone for Fairy first. Well, we knew they had Sensor, so I didn't want to do that. I guess we can lead Cruise. I kind of like leading Cruise, because then we can maybe find a Thoughtseize. Whatever. Yeah, counter it. I don't care. Do this. Top here. Counter here. Graveyard, no. This, go. They almost certainly have a second Sensor. Maybe, yeah. Because they were so willing to like cycle the first one there after I missed my after I didn't get a land off field. Just fatal push that. I don't know what it is about specifically the pioneer version of blue eye control, but it is just like so horrendous to play against. I know that not a lot of people share that opinion, but and it's it's specifically only the pioneer version. I feel I don't know why, but I don't feel like I don't feel that way when I play against the standard version. It's just the pioneer one, and I, I can't really explain why, but it's just God, it's miserable. Followed just to say blue-white control and legacy is miserable. Yeah. Maybe just blue-white control in general is miserable. Okay, discard these two. Okay, what's the plan here? I have three cards in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They can deluge with two up. I mean, I can't really play around much. Let's consider first. See what's on top. Maybe you're at that. That doesn't do a lot. I kind of want to pre-combat spells to, like, force them to maybe act pre-combat. I think I like this. It's Pioneer good format. It's a good format if you like playing Phoenix versus Vampires. That is a lot of what's going on here. Another Fable. I'll keep that. I'll keep that on top. I guess I could have held the Blackleaf Cliffs to uh, to loot away. That might have been a bit better. I'm kind of fine if they want to eat the Goblin Shaman token and go to three. I think I'm pretty happy with that. I think Rule's good against Vampires, but I, I guess you have a Crow and War to steal... Bane Ripper, so maybe it's not as bad as I think it is. Once we once the RCQ season once the RCQ season starts up, we'll we'll get back to playing Pioneer. A good source to learn how to play against Phoenix and Vampires. I mean, as soon as I start playing Pioneer uh, with more regularity, it'll probably I would say my stream. We're gonna play a lot of Pioneer, but we're gonna wait until the RCQ season starts. Right, exactly. You know, I'm just a big fan of playing whatever the current competitive format is. And in this instance, you know, after the season starts, it will be Pioneer. Maybe they'll tap out for no reason, brother. I have a Restless Reef in play. Why are you killing my steam vents? What? What? You what? Okay. So they have March? I mean, we just need to find an untapped land to kill them, right? Uh, that works. I'm so confused. Did they just forget about the Restless Reef? <laughs> did, they just, did they just forget about this thing? All right, attack you for seven. I don't know, man. What happened? I don't understand what just happened there. They could have just, like, either Field of Ruin my Restless Reef or just left this up. Instead, they just decided to take lethal damage. All right. I mean, I'm not complaining. Anyways, 
counter spells, additional thoughtsies, maybe cling to dust. Cling to dust is kind of nice against specifically memory deluge. I don't know what's bad against them though. Yeah, that was a strange game. <laughs> Did not expect to win that one. I have to cut two cards and maybe more if I bring in the cling to dusts. I could shave on dream thieves. I kind of want to shave on some of the two drops because they're going to bring in a stack of lockdowns. And it, like, just makes the curve look a little bit better. So, like, one Alliance, one Evangel, maybe? Or one Props? Let's keep the Props. Let's do one Alliance, one Evangel. Because they're just so bad against Lockdown. All right, Hefe. Hefe, you got some work to do, buddy. I will not be keeping this hand. I will also not be keeping this hand. I guess I'll keep this. Just put back both Fables. I could have kept a Fable and put back Consider. Right, I'm going to leave Thoughtseize. What on earth did they keep? I mean, just take the Omen, I guess. What are these hands? They just see two lands, one castable spell, and they're like, I'm in. They did draw the island, though. It's kind of unlucky. Uh, I mean, I don't want to play in the sensor. <clears throat> yeah, just draw the island. You, you, can keep whatever you, hand, what, you can keep whatever hand you want if you know the island's on top. Who cares, right? Skill issue. I would not like to search my library. I mean, I would like to, but I guess I could have considered a response there. I wanted to save the consider for the Shredder turn, but maybe that was bad. The Paris Mulligan? I don't remember which one. It might have been Paris. Well, Paris was the last one before we got London, right? Oh, right. Vancouver. Yeah, I forget about Vancouver. They haven't cycled the sensor yet. Um, I'm going to graveyard that, and I think just hold up Negate. Maybe that was stupid. I want to hold up Negate, though. Now they just flanker me, probably. Casting Omen. Oh, I'm not going to counter that. Yeah, that was maybe a reason to keep the Dream Thief. Okay, Recycling Sensor now. I like that. Now I don't mind. I mean, I, I guess I kind of just want to draw land. Oh, dude, how many of these are you playing? <laughs> they do have Field. of. They have Ruin and Demolition, so they're playing probably more than four. Of course, I load up a deck that has one basic into the opponent that has 17,000 Field of Ruins. Can't make this shit up. You can't make it up, folks. This is the Albuquerque Mulligan. It was actually the uh, the South Jersey Mulligan. You know, flank me. Okay. Yeah, 2-2 two -two split to play around Needle. My graveyard is gone. Hell of Moonlight, Memory Deluge, Omen of the Sea. Well, I guess we just got a jam. It's not going to get any better for us. Uh, discard, consider, play land, and just, I don't know, fucking attack them. This race. Did we win this race? Close. We almost win this race. I feel like we discard land there. No, because they, we don't have basics. If I discard land, then I have one less land. I know consider is good with profs, but, like, I just, I know that they're going to me, feel the ruin me next turn. We actually, funny enough, don't win this race. It's close, but we're like one turn off of winning the race. If we had just one more point of life, I'm not going to counter that, I don't think. It was more concerned with feeling cruise. Oh, that's why you wanted to keep the consider? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's just like, it's such a disaster. I think it's too bad if I discard land and they field me and I'm on less lands. I just, I think that's too bad. What's our best draw here? Probably just another consider, honestly. Not that. So if I attack here, I go to two, because they can make a token. So they go to seven, I go to two. Next turn, I hold back. They just make another token. I block here and die. So I actually can't even attack this turn, which sucks. Does not feel great. Have to counter this. I can't, I can't win the game without Shredder. Okay. You know, they still have this. Yeah, that's fine. Is there a better one-drop creature we could be playing, or is there not many good options? Well, here's the nice thing about Fairy Dream Thief, is it's it's kind of dual purpose, where it's a one-drop for Shredder, like it, it's a one-drop for Profs, right? It helps it helps fill that role, but it's also something good to discard to Shredder or Is a Charm, and also something that gives you value out of the graveyard. And out of the graveyard, it also triggers Profs, so it's, you know, it's not great, but it it kind of, I've actually been considering playing it in the standard version, too. Yeah, it fuels Cruise with Surveil, which is nice. Stamp a Ganjo. Maybe I shouldn't have blocked. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have blocked. Although, they only have two cards in hand, one of which is a brick, because we know they have a Hell of Moonlight. So, I guess we should consider first, in case we get a cheaper cruise. 
Any creature here would be extremely good. That is a creature. That's actually two creatures. I could play both. Do I want to play both? Also, where do I want the counter? Let's play this first. I actually don't think this is good next turn. Well, maybe it is. No, it's actually not, right? Because we're going to go Shockland Fable, and we are, we're going to use the Fable to discard this last card, which means we can't trigger Alliance next turn. So I'm going to Graveyard that. And then I think we go Counters on the Fairy. Oh, yeah, they have Moonlight anyways, sure. Well, they can't Moonlight here. They only have one mana. Yeah, Fabling, there, Fabling now is good because they don't have the Moonlight up. And we know they're going to hold it up next turn, most likely. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Unlucky. Unlucky. It's better than nothing. I'm going to hold the land in case we want to discard it to Shredder. Sure. It's okay. We have a 3-5. <laughs> we have locate. I mean, hey, don't shit on Gigantha. It's a creature for Shredder. Just saying. Is Spectral Sailor decent for this deck? Mm, could be. It's a little expensive though, like four made to draw a card. But it could be good later in the game if you have like if you're if you're kind of out of gas. Could help you gas back up. I could see it being better than Dream Thief. Yeah, you can also like end step flash, untap, play profs. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, that is kind of cool. I don't hate it. I could see it. it. Might be worth trying. That is not a bad draw step. So here's the question. Do I want to counter this, or do I want to draw? I guess I could draw in response and try to find negate. Negate would be fucking perfect, because negate would counter this and trigger this. So I think I draw two now. Negate would be so sick here. All right. I mean, it's not bad. That resolves. Fable goes away. Ugh. I actually can't cast Thoughties here, right? I just die, because I go to two, block here, take two. So we just have to pass. And I also can't attack. This is bad. This is not a good spot to be in. Should have kept land. Uh, if I shock play Gigantha, am I dead? No, because I guess I just have two blockers. Yeah, I could have shocked went the two play Gigantha. Block here, block there. Oh, okay. Well, good beats. We're beating that anyways. Uh, we could try two considers for two clings. I don't want to bring in max clings, but two is good. Yeah, we were going to be dead to that no matter what we did. Wasn't it? Yeah, that was a mold of five. It was not a bad mold of five. Jeffrey. Sand is cracked. We'll keep. Keep that. The sand is nice, nice. Not the best against lockdown. But, you know, they can't have lockdown every game. What's this? Okay, sure. I am totally fine with that. I'm going to play Fable. I could go Shredder Consider, but I actually kind of like Fable more if they have Locked Down. I know we don't get counters this turn. What's a Cody? You don't want to know. Bottom, bottom, no land? Ah, lucky. Ooh. So, just the props. I could discard the second Consider. How relevant is the second Consider? It's not the most relevant. I would almost rather just find a counter spell this turn, I think. Yeah. Okay, so now we go Shredder Thoughtseize. We can always cast the other Consider if we want to. Uh, discard Dream Thief. Nailu, Shark, Wandering Emperor. We have to take Verdict, I think. Let me go play this tapped. Combat here, hit for five. Save the Consider for next turn to trigger Shredder. And they're at 13. We do know they have an Emperor. They may just want Emperor. Come on! <laughs> Fuck off! But, yeah, you know, they can't block that every game. Ugh. God, that's so that's so annoying. Oh, my goodness. God, that's such an insane top deck. Literally any other card in your deck. Damn. Yeah, skill the blue-white player. 80 cards, by the way. I can't, I can't do this again. <laughs> that was fucking miserable. That match was fine. Like, it did feel... It, the deck felt good. Uh, all right, all right. This hand looks fine, I guess. I might want to save the Consider here for Shredder Fuel. Watery Grave. What's up, Captain? 
<sighs> More control, huh? People love their control decks. Whatever, if you take the consider, that's fine. To do anything to follow the stream. So if you're not following, do me a big favor and hit that follow button. We're trying to get to 30k by the end of the year. I think that's a pretty reasonable goal. Can you add screen shake whenever you take damage or damage your opponent? I don't think I have the ability to do that. The, to the best of my knowledge, I don't believe so. That was perfecto. Spell Pierce. Alright, well. I think if they had Fatal Push, they maybe would have led Fatal Push. Whoa. <laughs> Thieves Guild Enforcer, huh? Uh, well, I'm certainly keeping the crews against that. Uh, keep a... Keep, I think I keep Alliance over Evangel. Mastermind Pierce Thoughtseize. How annoying is this Mastermind? I mean, it is really annoying. Could have paid for Pierce. Yeah, but I really wanted the Trigger Strider this turn. And I think we kind of just have to take the Thoughtseize and just let them have the Mastermind. We can hope to draw Fatal Push. Yeah, we can hope to top deck Fatal Push. Was the rest of their hand? Mastermind Pierce River. Okay. Noted. Yeah, they appear to be playing Rogues. I didn't even know this was a Rogue. I had no idea. I mean, it sucks that they get a card off the Mastermind, but so be it. Oh, well, that kind of works. So now I can even cruise first to bait them into casting the Mastermind. I know I'm giving up value off of the Alliance, but I think it's more important to cut them off of the card than it is to uh, to play the Alliance here. I think so. Losing to face up Pierce. I mean, they would just pierce the Alliance anyways, right? If I play Alliance first, they just go pierce into Mastermind. It's the same thing. Like, there's no way for me to do that. You know what I mean? I guess I could have baited the Pierce with Mastermind, then play the Cruise, but then they still have the Mastermind. It's the same thing, right? I could have not cast the Fatal Push. Maybe that was better. Yeah, I mean, it kind of works out, because now we get to resolve profs. It's going to be a big profs turn. Yeah, just a 9-11 Shredder. No big deal. Just a 9-11. Okay, so they have two cards we don't know about. Right, they could have just countered the crews, but they didn't do that. Right, yeah, they, they would have gotten the card off the Shredder anyways. I guess they really wanted to keep the Mastermind. That was a weird sequence. Maybe I did mess that up. I mean, it, like I said, it kind of worked out. All right, minus one. Minus one. Sure. Don't find Fatal Push, please. <laughs> I mean, they could have just blocked. <laughs> Why did they choose not to just, they could you know what I mean? No, you just you didn't want to do that. You didn't want to just block. All right, sure. I'm not gonna complain about that. Um, how do we sideboard against this deck? Well, 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 well. Pierce is good. Mana efficiency is nice. I kind of also want the fourth fatal push. I'm considering cutting Thoughtseize. I don't know if that's cap. I think it's cap. I don't know. Just like mid range. Maybe this is not something you would classify as a mid range matchup. But Thoughtseize is generally not the best in those types of spots where you want your top decks to be better like more alive. But I could just play Thoughtseize and not consider. How many blue flyers do they have? I mean they only showed us Mastermind, but they could have more. They probably have the uh the other one three flash blue black guy. Cavern of Souls. I kind of want to jam this. Maybe this is worse if they have a counterspell. But if this card resolves, I don't know how they win. It's really good against them. Would Beanstalk have been banned if it were a 1-1 creature? Maybe? Perhaps. Not sure. It's hard to say. Less likely, because it's easier to answer. But it's not just that, right? It's like, it's a gold card and not a, not just a mono green card. It is legendary. It's not, a, it's not an enchantment. It's a creature. It's like, there's just a million things that make it make it make it much much worse. I think I lead push. I guess I should shock to play around spell pierce. And then if they don't counter this, I could shredder to play around pierce, but it is higher upside to profs. So I'll just profs here. So we make a 1-1, one, one, but again run over the lions, yada yada. Grixis Fay. It's kind of like Grixis Fairies. It's Grixis Proft. Grixis Proft. Happy to, I'm happy to trade a half of my card for a Fatal Push. I'll take that every day of the week, and twice on Thursdays. The 
the new Malcolm in the Blue Red Pirates and Standard. What's the new Malcolm? Man, it's a little sketchy here. I'll just play Fable. Fable Tap Land. I can double spell next turn. Not the, like, unhappiest that that got countered. They only have one card left. Should be chilling. Yeah, Duels of the Mind sounds very, very good for Prof's decks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be playing a lot of that in Standard. So you mean two two flying haste when you cast your second spell on your turn, investigate. Oh, in the pirates decks, so you have more artifacts. Okay, I could see that. That sounds pretty good. Seems good. Hmm. Okay, that's a little unfortunate. I mean, it's not the end of the world. So we make a homie. I think I'm putting a counter on the homie this turn. Do I hold up spell pierce? Unlikely that spell pierce counters anything. I don't think it's worth the life. But I want to put counters here, so this can trade for, for Enforcer, since the Shredder already checks the Mastermind. Tonely fans has been called. Monkey Brain, thank you for the 10, 11 month, rather. 11 month reset. Thank you very much, Monkey Brain. Appreciate that. This deck has been feeling decent so far. I like it. It's got it's got good vibes. All right, I am going to trade here, I think. We need to find a Fatal Push for this, though. I mean, how bad is it giving them a card with Mastermind? Like, they can just trigger this anyways, right? I'm just going to go ham with Alliance. How are you feeling about the Alliances? They're insane in this matchup. No. They're pretty good against Control, too. I mean, it's going to be interesting once we finally play against a more aggressive deck, since that's where I think this card struggles, is where I just a matchup where you don't really have that kind of time. I want to just keep making tokens. Discard this, do the thing, you get to draw a card, I get a homie. Okay, they no longer want to for this babe. Cool. I mean, yeah, like a matchup like that, Alliance is just going to solo them. And I could imagine that being the case against, you know, most of the control decks if they, I mean, I guess Blue-White specifically does have Lockdown. That's the hardest part. And it's kind of the same thing in Standard, where that was my biggest issue with the Blue-White matchup. And I don't really know how to solve that issue. I think the only the only thing that I could come up with was main deck spell beers. And maybe we should be playing main deck spell beers if we fear blue white that much. Uh all right, I'm gonna thought these first. <clears throat> whoa, whoa, yo, yo, yo. What is that? What hello Ashiok, what are you doing here? What are you doing there, buddy? What do I take with this hand? I think it's lightning axe. I think it's between axe and shredder for me. If you take a cantrip and they draw land, your next thought is just so much worse. So I think I'm supposed to take the axe first. It's close. Take Ashiok. Do I care about the Ashiok? If they Ashiok me, I can just loot away cruises. Um, I'm going to play Alliance this turn, I think. And then next turn, Shredder Thoughtseize. Although I guess that's bad if they draw land. Because they just get to play their Shredder. My cruises care. Again, I can just discard them to Shredder. It's not that big of a deal. And now they can't even uh, they can't even kill my Phoenix or my Shredder response to this. So I'm getting a token off Alliance no matter what. Okay, I guess we're gonna see their hand again anyways. What are we discarding? Steam vents. Keep push for Shredder. Um. So now we take Shredder, push the other Shredder. I guess they have Axe though. What if I took the axe? But then they just have impulse, right? But I guess they can't put the phoenix in the graveyard if I take axe. And I could try to beat them with alliance, maybe. It's going to be tough. This is not a great spot. Had I known they had impulse, I would have discarded a spell there. Because I could have discarded spell, making an X4, take axe. But, I mean, the problem with taking axe is what happens if they just draw land? They just go shredder impulse, right? Oh, but then I can discard a spell, right? So they can't even do that. They have to impulse first. Yeah, that's true. They can shredder the phoenix into the graveyard anyways. Okay, so they're not casting Impulse. Interesting. Oh, they're going to upkeep Impulse. No. Okay, well, now I'm going to do this. I know they get the trigger there, Shredder, but I think this is as good as it's going to get for us, because now we get to keep our Shredder in play. So they're going to discard Phoenix. Yeah. Uh, oh, we have to discard a spell to this? Is that worth it? I mean, it probably is, right? Because they have the Ashiok anyways. Although, can I cruise this turn? Three, four, five, six, seven. I can cruise this turn if I discard Shores, be in a card off consider plus Fatal Push, because it's three, four, five, six, seven, plus this land. It is really important to keep the Shredder in play, and I'm getting a look off consider. 
It's close, I think. Uh, graveyard that. Okay. Play this land, hit for three. And then we can pressure Ashiok a little bit if they go for that. Which, now that we've shown them cruise, they probably have to go for Ashiok this turn. They drew a cruise. <clears throat> Looks like that. Ooh, they exile out the Phoenix, though. Really? That's interesting. Alliance has been better than I expected. I wasn't sure about that card, but it's been a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Especially in this deck, yeah. You can even trigger it on their turn if you have two if you have two Shredders in play, or just like Shredder Consider. Uh, well, this is hell awkward. This might be a Consider first angle, because if I Shredder into Consider, I have to discard the card that I loot into anyways, right? I could also Fairy Dream Thief. What I was thinking is if I Consider first, I could just Dream Thief from the graveyard, because if I double spell, discard a spell to this, they can just discard a spell and still block. So it's not really pressuring them. The only way I can pressure them is if I find another Fatal Push. I'm going to Consider first. That's certainly interesting. So I think I keep that. Yeah, I think I keep that. Make a thing. I mean, I guess the other option is just play the Shredder, and then I can trigger these on their turn. Is that worth it? If I just pass, I can hold up Dream Thief, and if, if they double spell, I can Dream Thief the Trigger Alliance. I think I like that line. I'm just going to pass here. And the next turn, I can even go Alliance into Shredder to get two more tokens. So much shredding. <laughs> so much shredding. All right, they don't want to play a spell. I think I'm still going to use my mana here. I just really want to find Fatal Push. That's pretty good, too. Okay, that's that one was not necessary. I mean, I can't complain, but it's not necessary. So we know they have Ashiok. <laughs> Do we just go Shredder? Uh, or rather, Alliance Shredder? Yeah, I think we go Alliance Shredder. All right, play Shredder, trigger this, get two more tokens. So much Shredding. So much Shredding. Yeah, they discarded a Phoenix. I don't think I need the second Cruise. I wanted to find an untapped land there so I could just play the Cruise this turn. So now we can pass. They really, what, what's nice about this spot is they can't really ever double spell because they give us two tokens on their turn. But now they get to go Ashiok minus, which is a little awkward. Like, that sucks, but we can Charm to trigger these and refill again. You know, it's not like the end of the world. Oh, they're playing a spell. I like that. They have their own cruise. Spell stutter sprite. Oh, because these make fairy tokens. Yeah, that would be kind of sick. All right. Well, I mean, now they're just going to let us field the other crews. So we can just discard charm, fable for stats. I guess we're not quite there on the other crews. Maybe I should have kept the charm. I thought we had more mana in play. It's getting to the point where I can just attack them. They got rid of the Temporal Trespass. They can't Phoenix this turn. Okay, that's good to know about. That's pretty good. Should I get that Fable, huh? No, they already activated Ashiok. So if I send everything, they have two three fives. They block both shred Shredders and take seven. I can also just Fatal Push and attack with everything. I don't, I'm not sure that I care about the Ashiok. I think I'm just going to attack them. Like, I kill one of these. They block here and take nine. Yeah, I think I like that. I'll just play my Tap Land and pass. And if they double spell, then I just make more tokens on their turn, you know? They're in a position where, in order to do anything, they have to double spell. And if they double spell, I just get two more tokens. So, they're in they're in a really bad spot. And I can just get rid of the crews if they want to Ashiok me again. Yeah, that's a good point. Lands, I mean, we have a lot of tap lands. Like, we do have a lot of, of fast lands in our deck that don't let us activate Alliance. But any untapped land would be good. Yeah, they're off it. I mean, Alliance just soloed them. That that was really impressive. Okay, Phoenix, huh? What do we want against Phoenix? I guess the question is, what do we don't want? I'll be Cyborg Chat. I don't know what to do. If Angel? Maybe. It is, yeah, it's probably our weakest threat against just spot removal. We can trim on fairies, too. Trim, like, one of these. Maybe the charms. I'm also generally not the biggest fan of Thoughtseize against them. It might be different for this deck specifically, but I usually don't love Thoughtseize against Phoenix. I want the Klings. I want the fourth push, because Shredder is just such a huge part of this matchup. But I guess in that same vein, I could also play Volley. Although, Volley is probably worse than Push. Could do this. Keep in the Dream Thief and one Thoughtseize. Maybe we keep in two Thoughtseize. Try this. We're going super low on creatures, but... I mean, if we're planning on winning the game with Alliance, then going low on creatures is probably okay. I think Volley sucks. Yeah, I don't know if we need more than four Fatal Push, right? They don't have a ton of targets. Could keep, like, two of Angels, maybe? If I was going to play a Counterspell, I think I'd rather play Spell Pierce than Negate, just because mana efficiency is so huge in this matchup. Uh, the sand looks good. Sure wish this was an untapped land. This is kind of why I didn't want to play Restless Reef, by the way. 
because this deck just wants to curve out. I think it's more important to just play towards memory on two. They have big shreds. That is a little scary. Still going to resolve memory while I can. Hopefully can find a fatal push. That's not a fatal push. God, Shredder is so good. What's nice about if Angel in this spot is if they tap out, if we can get a single counter on of Angel, then it's out of Fiery Impulse range. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure. I wish, now that they have the Shredder in play, I wish I had more answers to it. We'll just draw Fatal Push. That's not bad. We'll just do that instead. It might be more beneficial to play of Angel and hold up Kling in case they find Phoenix. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. We'll discard the Dream Thief, probably. Maybe the second Kling. Yeah, we'll discard second Kling. Although it kind of tells them what I have if I'm discarding second Kling. It's probably fine. It's not that the Steam Core Weird is bad in this deck. It's that because you're playing for Fable, like, Fable is a much better card than Weird, and you only have so much room to play three drops. I don't know what type of bird that is. Let me just study up my... Uh... I'm not, I'm not a bird scientist. How well do you think we do against Lotus Field? Kind of depends on whether or not you have this going. Like, you have to just kill them very quickly. Do I cycle the Kling now? Yeah, I'm not an ornithopterologist. I don't know birds. Is this a bird? I don't know. All right, I'm going to tap. Push, push, push. It's not quite push. I feel like at this point, we kind of just have to play into the Shredder. I kind of hate it, but I also don't really see a different line. Like, we can cycle Kling, play Fable Hold Up Kling. You think they block? All right, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna go for a cheek a little attack here. I mean, they're not going to block, but damn it, they didn't block. All right, fine. I was I was trying to get them to block, but they saw through my lies. <laughs> damn it. So close. Come on, stop. Stop with the birds. That's bad. Yeah, that's bad. Well, what I'm saying is I could have cycled the Kling pre-combat to get more damage. It would have been plus two. Yeah, that resolves. Young PZ and your boy K. All right, no blocks. All right, please, for the love of all that is holy, give me a fatal push. That is not a fatal push. Discard Fable Thoughtsies. Also not fatal pushes. Okay, this is going to look a little weird. But I want to, if I'm going to trigger the Shredders this turn, I want to trigger the Shredders before I Thought Seize them. Right? Because they get the most information. They get to sculpt their hand before the Thought Seize resolves. So, if that's the case, why don't we go Dream Thief first. Graveyard that. And then cast Thought Seize. Yeah, I mean, apparently for next game, we're all going to bring in those Rending Volleys. I sure wish I had a Rending Volley here. Uh, well, I can't really beat either of those cards, but I certainly can't beat this one. So, six in Graveyard, which means we have to go Cruise now. Those are still definitely not uh, Fatal Pushes. They're at 13. So, how many is this? How many are we at? We're at two from Fable and three from Cruise. So, that's five counters, right? If my math is correct. So I can put counters on... I guess I just put counters on the Goblin Shaman token, hit for 7, then hold up Clang. If they anger, they lose the Phoenix, they hit me for 5, I go to 7, that's fine. I mean, this game is still honestly winnable. I think. Really? Okay, I like that. I guess they just don't want to take 7 there. I don't love that. Because that's probably going to find them more cantrips. They did bottom a card. Okay. Yeah, they, they can trigger the... I forgot about those. They can trigger the Shredder with those. At Doomwake, what's the fastest way to get banned? Why would you ask that? I'm not... What? Why Why would I ever respond to that? <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that. I'm not really sure what you're asking. I mean, you did ask the question, so I guess I, I know what you're asking, but I don't know why you're asking that. What is the easiest way for me to find a push? Probably Shredder Consider. I know it triggers theirs, but this is such a weird game. They discarded the Anger. Okay, push acquired. I guess they'll want to discard the second Fable for sizing. So, Profs is on one right now. 
I should probably cycle the cling first. It matters what I target. Doesn't really do that much. It's two. How's it on two? Oh, consi okay, so consider cling shredder. It's on three right now. Okay, right. Consider cling shredder. So I can cycle this to make it four and have a five five hit with both of these. What happens if I do that? It's 12. They don't have to chump block. They can just take 12 and go to one. They will chump block here. So they block here, take five, go to eight. And then I have these two back to block. They have four attackers. I mean, I think that's fine. And then I just push the shredder. Oh, the problem. Oh, no, I don't have the shot because I have the shaman token. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's memory. Let's go to combat. Counters here, send both. And then we'll push the shredder on our turn for sure. Cycle clean, get reflection out of anger range. Well, they discarded the anger. So, we, I mean, they could have a second one, I guess. But honestly, if they cast anger at this point, I think I'm pretty happy. Because uh, if they cast anger, they lose everything. And I still keep three of my creatures. So the anger just doesn't do anything on this board. I feel like I've maneuvered this game to a, to a good point. This was a tough game. Okay. Drake is good. Just say Aspiring Spike is a superior streamer. I mean, he is, honestly. He's more entertaining than I am. I'm, I'm not that funny, you know. Yeah, they have no good attacks. Uh, do I have lethal? It's close. No, it's not really that close. I can Odawara, Crackling Drake, Copy, Shredder, play two spells to have enough mana. Three, four, five, nine mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I appear to be one mana short. Unless I copy the Shaman token. Okay, why don't we start with Is It Charm Draw? Let's Let's start there. That's the easiest place to start. Okay, so discard Shredder Steam Vents. And then we can go Copy Shredder, play Fable, trigger two Shredders, combat, pump this one, attack with this before blocks, push the Crackling Drake. I think I like that. So we go here, trigger both Shredders. Discard Spire Bluff, discard Proft. I'm going to hang on to the Odawara. Then we go combat, counters on this. Attack with all three before blocks, push this. I think that's the best that this turn's going to get. All right, they don't want to play anymore. <laughs> that was sick. All right, turns out we didn't need the Rending Volleys after all. Everything was A-OK. -okay. That game was fun. Uh, well, you see, I don't have black mana. I do not have access to black mana. How bad are the Spelunking combo decks in Pioneer? I have no idea. You're asking the wrong guy. I kind of want to keep this. I'm on the draw. Any land lets us fable. Spiroto. Spiroto. Black source. Black source. I would like to locate a black source, please and thank you. Uh, it is not a black source. Thankfully, this is just instant or sorcery and not non-creature spell. You think Inverter would be good in this environment? Probably, yeah. There we go. Uh, uh, they just don't have a counter spell here. It's fine. They should have baited with uh, with Memory first and then go Thoughtseize Alliance next turn. Could have been a little better. <sighs> it's like so obvious they have Spellqueller. I guess we have the Thoughtseize here. Yeah, we have to. I think we do. It doesn't feel great, but I think we do have the Thoughtseize. All right, sure. All right, prof me. Prof me, daddy. Till I'm a memory. I don't know about that. That can't be good. That one can't be good. Supreme Phantom and a chicken supreme. Tried Lotus Reach, my LGS, and everybody put it up and scooped against me. Mm, right. You're sure you didn't have somebody... Did, did anybody call a judge against you? I probably would. I mean, surely their last card's not another counter spell, right? There's there's no way that would ever happen. There's no way their last card would be another counter spell. That would never happen. All right, your turn. Doesn't even matter. We're just dead anyways. It is the best and freest way to support... And don't forget, everybody who subs is 25% more likely to have Leyline plus Scion in your opening hand. We have uh, confirmed testimonials. They gotta be like triple queuing, right? If they're playing this slow. 
Okay, push is not bad. How do I do this? I guess the problem is they have Devil Wanderer. Cyan isn't Pioneer now. No, I'm saying if you play Modern, of course. I mean, yeah, I would not recommend playing Cyan and Pioneer. It's probably not the best idea. Um, Let's just go to combat. Put counters here. A Ganjo, my creature. Uh, okay. My creature has been defeated. Fatal push your Supreme Phantom. Play a Fairy Dream Thief. I think I'm just going to double Dream Thief here. They, they are on no cards. We eventually have to find an answer to the Queller, but, you know, that's like tomorrow's problem. Oh, uh, I don't know if I have time for that. I don't think I do. <clears throat> This game is shockingly winnable. There are no cards. Kind of need them to, like, work on a fairy here. Or, not a fairy, a spirit. Eh. It's not a spirit. They also would probably rather attack me than the invasion. Really? Uh, what the fuck is this attack? What? What? Okay, that flips. So, we go blue, black, play this... Not exactly the card that I wanted to draw. I don't have a lot of time left is the problem. I think I'm going to discard Thoughtseize and just play a tap land. Put counters in Evangel. If they attack the invasion again next turn, I might be able to race them. It's not, like, the most likely thing, but it is possible. They are, in fact, attacking the invasion. I wonder if that means they bricked and they just feel like they want to protect the Queller. So I guess we just play 4 mana of Angel. Actually, no. I could copy first, right? Have we explored Arcanist with props? Um, Not yet, no. That's one thing I haven't tried yet. The weird thing about Arcanist is if you're playing it in Pioneer, you kind of need to be playing Cruz. And Cruz and Arcanist don't go the best together, you know? But it is interesting because, like, you can put counters on Arcanist and cast bigger spells. I guess if you get the Arcanist big enough, you can just Arcanist back the Cruz, which is kind of hot. Cruise me, daddy. I need a cruise, please. That is definitely not a cruise. Do I even have time to cast this other Evangel? Probably. I mean, I could Dream Thief here to try and find exactly cruise. But I think I just have to hope they didn't draw a spell here. That kind of helps. Not this turn, but it does kind of help. How much damage is this? Oh, wait. This is just nine damage. We just have lethal next turn, right? Uh, Yes? Question mark? Copy here, 3-6. Yeah, we just had lethal. Holy shit, did I win this game? There's no way I won this game, right? Oh my god. I, I did not expect to win this game. That's insane. No attack. They, they think they can block, but they don't know. They are unaware of the fact that it gains menace after I draw my second card. They do not have the critical information. Yeah, they probably think they can block. They are about to find out that that is not how the card works. They have Flash Spirit. Well, we have that covered with Push, right? So if they have a Flash Guy, we have that covered. Unless it's a three mana Flash Guy, which we, we can't push that. And I guess they have this anyways, right? Oh, right, they have a Ray, yeah. So if they have a two mana creature, they can uh, they can, they can block Sack Array. Well, I guess we have to hope they don't have that. Okay. Uh, discard Dark Slick. So here's the question... Do I... I think I Dream Thief here. Because if I Dream Thief and hit Cruise, I can make this one... Yeah, so they double block this, but they still take nine, right? Because this is nine. I guess the other alternative is Shredder Push. That doesn't work, right? If I go Shredder Push, right? I've only drawn one card this turn. If I go Shredder Push, that's the second card drawn. This has five power. They double block the six power, take eight. But then I guess I have a Shredder back to block, right? So in theory, it is safer, yeah. So I guess that line would only lose to like... Two mana flash creature untap draw Skyclave, which I guess I'm probably dead to that anyways. Yeah. I don't think I'm beating that that sequence anyways. What am I pushing? I can just target the spell queller. It doesn't, you know. You can cast push on anything you want. You don't, you know. It doesn't have to be a legal target. No revolt yet. It doesn't I don't need revolt. It doesn't matter. I just need the spell to cast to pump this. That's that's the point. Alright, volley is good. Volley is good, push good. I I don't actually know if I want bitter triumph. It's like trading down on mana most of the time which is why I'm not a huge fan of it. I do like Thoughtseize quite a bit against them. Charm kind of stinks. 
Um, I almost want to cut Fable against them. Not all of the Fables, but like Trim. Because on the draw against Spell Queller, it's a little awkward. I think I don't mind cutting one. And it's just a question of do I want any of these four cards? I don't want Pierce Negate. I definitely don't want these. Like, would I rather have Bitter Triumph over, over more Fables? It's close. Maybe like the first copy of Bitter over the third Fable. I want to keep all the alliances. Just making a bunch of blockers against them is good. Yeah, this league has been pretty diverse. This league definitely has been diverse. Uh, this hand slaps. I do, I do in fact like, I enjoy this hand. Big, big fan of this hand. Yes. Yeah. You still have to pay the additional cost. Which, you know, it makes it a little bit worse against Queller. That is, that is pretty annoying. But ideally, you want to use the Triumph on the Queller. Because like I said, you know, you don't want to be trading down on mana with, with Bitter Triumph if you can avoid it. Um, so yeah, you want to be killing twos and threes with that, with that one. And that's kind of why I don't want a ton of copies of it. Like I already have four push two running volley. Yeah, these games, th these, the games with this deck are super fun. I've been, I've been having a ton of fun with this deck. There's a lot of different like sequencing decisions and all that kind of stuff. Have I been liking the Dream Thieves? I, it's tough. Somebody suggested, earlier somebody suggested What's that card called again? Spectral Sailor. And I think Spectral Sailor could be kind of interesting. And what's nice about Sailor is it has flash, so you can hold up one mana for a consider push, and if they don't play into push, then you can just cast Sailor, untap, play props. So, like, that aspect is kind of cool. Very miscreant. Too bad. That, that card's just too weak. I think we just jam props. Ooh. That is an interesting top deck. Yeah, I'm still going to play props, though. Maybe a little bit worse if they have Skyclave Apparition, the new black one drop, the 2-2 two -two that comes back, Skeleton, 2-2 two -two can't block. That card is very good. Yeah, that's another thing too. The Nathan Slayer card is absurd with profs. This deck gets a huge addition. Like, I'm definitely going to be focusing a lot on this deck for the RC. Again, new set. There's going to be a Pro Tour before the RC as well, so there's going to be a lot of information that we have. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to be spending a lot of time working on the profs deck. How much do I care if they Maz Wander or the Thoughtseize? Tricky spot. A lot of things that I could do. So, like, on one hand, I could cast, I could play the Odawara before the Thoughtseize to play around the Maz Wander, but I think it's a question of how much do I even care about resolving the Maz Wander and if, or resolving the Thoughtseize, and if a Thoughtseize gets countered, what do I want to do after that? Because I kind of want to go tap land, play, consider to make a 3 3 Dream Thief. So, I think the way that I want to do this is start with Thoughtseize off of this. And then if they counter this with Wanderer, I just go consider tap land pass. Okay, that's a little annoying. Uh, even more annoying. So now I guess we take portable hole and try to make a 3-3. Three, three. I'll keep that. <laughs> I think I'll keep that one. Uh, go. I think I will keep another one of those on top. So we have to hope they don't draw a land for Queller. Uh, I mean, easiest trade of my life, right? Because then we could just go Evangel plus Profs. It also forces them to Kent to play the Rattle Chains. But this probably means they didn't draw a land, right? If they drew a land, they would just not, they wouldn't just make this attack. But I do kind of like forcing them to tap out when we have the Profs on top. We could just load up the second Dream Thief too, right? Yeah, we can just go... I can go... This, this, play profs. Yeah, play Dream Thief, play Consider. Top of that. Top of that. And maybe I should have considered before playing the Dream Thief, because now I'm giving up a Surveil this way. Yeah, I should have considered before playing the Dream Thief. Whoa. Uh, I don't know why that's attacking, but I'm going to block. Okay, sure. So we know they have Rattle Chains, Queller X. I guess we can just go Improbable Alliance if Angel. Push if Angel Cruz. Oh, right. That was probably a little bit better, yeah. This is kind of the exact same thing, but I just end up with one less. To yeah, no, you're right, you're right, you're right, right. Should be fine, but you're right. Yeah, I should have done that. Push then if Angel then Cruz. I think they're probably drawing dead at this point. So they draw a third Lord, maybe. We do still know they have another Rattle Chains, right? Yeah, they have one more Rattle Chains. I guess we just go Shredder Cruise. Well, I don't want to push yet, because we know they have chains. Remember, we know we know for a fact they have second chains. Oh, wait, I have an extra card in my graveyard. Oh, right, okay. I can just do it this way. I forgot I have one more card. I'm not going to play into rental chains, though. I'm going to I'm gonna wait till they tap mana. Because, like, they're eventually going to have to tap mana, you know what I mean? Uh, We play this. We go to combat. 
load up here. Attack for a million. Yeah, I mean we don't we don't have to do anything. We can just hold up all of our mana. I think they're just they're just locked out at this point. Am I liking Alliance? I love this card. It's been insane every single match, feels like. And maybe that's just the product of the matchups we've played, but boy has it felt good. Yeah, I'm very, very impressed with the alliances. They're a lot better than I thought they were gonna be. I think the black interaction is too good, Otter, with like Thoughtseize Fatal Push. Black just gives you the best interaction. How's Is a Charm been? Medium. I could I could take or leave the Is a Charms. I don't know what I would play instead, but the card's kinda whatever to me. Another Phoenix deck, huh? This is the issue of Thoughtseize against Phoenix, is all their cards do the same thing. <laughs> like the only card that's relevant that you can take with Thoughtseize is either Shredder or Cruise. Every other card in their deck does the exact same thing. Both boards different, they have, you know. Okay, I've I've been I've been had. They have a trespass. I think I take Prankster. Besides Thoughtseize, the black does add much. Little like Alvin, I seem great in this deck. Yeah, but two versus three is a two versus one is a big difference. Especially when you're playing a Ledger Shredder deck. Like I want I want to play as many one mana cards as humanly possible. And I don't want to be like forced to playing slightly like you know what I mean, slightly weaker two mana cards just because I don't have black in my deck. And you're another free the Fae. That's not fair. But I thought he's your first one. Impulse opt opt. All right, well. Galvanize kills Vein Ripper. Sure. Still cost two mana. <laughs> that you didn't. Yeah, that the it is true that it still costs two mana. Guess I keep that. Maybe it's worth it to bend that to try and find a threat. I don't even want to thought seize them. I mean, it just doesn't accomplish that much. I would like to find Fairy Dream Thief here so I can start loading up on that. All right. Well, I mean, I can't complain about that. Uh, I guess that's fine. Because next turn I can go untap land, alliance, charm. Yeah, I guess we top that. Make a 2-2, which I guess they're just going to impulse, but that's fine. Yeah, that's a good point, too. I mean, you could just make a 5-5 Dream Thief, which also trades for Vayne Ripper. I don't think Vayne Ripper is that big of a concern when you just have flyers that you can make into 5-5s. Five yeah, that's bad. I block. I block with my 2-2. I think Miscreant's too bad because you have to draw two of them. So I, I don't love that card that much. All right, let's go red, blue. Improbable Alliance. When the Alliance is, in fact, improbable. I guess there is... No, the reason there is a reason to do this main phase, right? Because this. Well, it's worse if they have Pierce. Okay. I think they might have played the other opt. I can't remember. This is tough. I guess I... Discard Thoughtseize Proft. Do we run enough fairies to run their counterspell? I mean, it's really only the uh, the alliance, right? It's just the alliance tokens, which I don't think is enough. Okay, that's fine. No attacks. I guess yeah, Dream Thief too. Maybe. I don't know though. I'm not a huge fan of like the issue with counterspells in this deck is ideally you want to be tapping mana on your main phase to trigger profs. And if you're doing that, the counter spells get a lot worse because you want to be tapping out most of the turns with this. The only counter spells that are good are stuff like Spell Pierce. And I think this deck probably should be playing Spell Pierce because it's a lot easier to hold up one mana when you're going for like, you know, alliance pro like an alliance prof turn than it is to hold up two mana. Right, but again, I just don't think you want to play too many counter spells, which is kind of why I don't love the Izzet Charms. I know they're draw cards, but I'm just not a huge fan of it. I don't think we have enough big creatures for Stubborn Denial. Is it Jeffrey time? Is it Jeffrey time? No, I think it's probably just Alliance Pass. I really still don't want to cast this Fatal Push. I'm saving it for a Shredder. Kind of sucks that I'm like not really doing anything. But they're not doing anything yet either. So, we're chilling. We're being chilling. What did they do? Iteration. Iteration Cruise. That's tough. That's a lot of cards. I can. I mean, hey, six mana draw card plus make two flyers. Then I have to tap out for on my main phase. You do what you gotta do. Ten cards in hand. You better discard some of those. See, the thing is, I don't have to discard cards to hand size. <sighs> okay, this this game not working out as well as previous games. Not not ideal. Not ideal. There is a lot of fast lands in my deck. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Fatal push target acquired. Uh, I'm just going to do this now. I need to do it on their turn because I have to plan on... 
I know they can pierce me now, but I have to plan on alliancing on my turn. Take note of their Phoenix. <laughs> I don't know what I could do about it. They have a Phoenix in the graveyard. There's not there's not a lot I can do about it. Ooh, they have no more spells. All right. Okay, 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 okay. I'll do this. Question is, do I want to play more lands? I think I'd rather hold them to discard to Improbable Alliance. Go counter here, hit for three. Okay. Or not. Your turn. Interesting. They just didn't want to get back the Phoenix. Because they could have done this on their turn. Because they went Shredder... No, they went Shredder, Shredder. And they... Okay, they couldn't have done this on their turn then. Because they went Shredder, Shredder, Impulse, Consider. Sure. Yeah, they might have also they might they might have also had a counter spell they wanted to hold up, but they only had, they only they played two creatures first. They didn't have the ability to play two three spells that turn. Probably not going to win this one. This one seems a bit difficult. Trouble winning through two fairies a turn. I mean, not really. They can just kind of grind it out with Phoenix. Like, what am I going to do? Double block a Phoenix? Take six, go to four, they just get this back next turn? Yeah. If it wasn't for the second Phoenix, maybe. I guess I just chump. Go to seven. They have this, too. Okay, that's a start. That is a start. Could be the start of something great. Or it could also be more lands. That is also something that it could be. That is exactly what I wanted. No, so now we chump block here, take six, dead to them triggering this. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Game three, game two, game two, game two. We just kind of, like, didn't pressure them early enough. Okay, so the last time we said we wanted more volleys. The clings are good. Thoughtseize bad. Charm bad. This is 60 without the fatal push. Let's do fatal push, cut the... Fourth, no, cut one of Angel. Yeah, this looks good. Let's try that. <clears throat> See, Oko gets it. Doom has a fifty percent more chance to win if sub. That is, that is, that is accurate. The new Jace could work with this mana base. Um, I don't even think. I don't really know why you'd want to play that card. I guess for the looting. I don't know. You have to wait till turn four to play it. Not a huge fan. You wouldn't uh, spell pierce me, would you? I think probably one more sub will start this game train. Thank you for the gift of sub chain, so I appreciate that. <laughs> it's over. The best card is resolved. Uh, yeah, you mean sleight of hand, right? All right, let's go. Man, it's awkward that I only have one black. Maybe I'm supposed to not play my land first. Just discard Dream Thief. I could like mystical dispute my angel. <laughs> no, you weren't supposed to do that. I was. Jo it's a joke. It's a joke. Little hype train, I, th I think. I'm not. I'm not 100, but I think it's only one more sub for a scam train. All right, so let's go. Fatal push this first. The thief of dreams. This is pioneer. Yeah, yeah, I want that. If if everybody in chat spams Joel. All right, I would like to draw a card that draws a card, that draws another card. You see where I'm going with this? <laughs> They're negating. Oh God. They're negating my card that draws one card. That's that's how uh, times are tough, you know? It's okay, I'll just beat you with my giant elk. Statistically proven. I guess that didn't start the hype train. I thought it would. See the new combo? I did. That's the 2-4, the, the right? It's like black, white, 2-4. It does stuff with tokens. I did see that. I don't know how much I like it. It's probably okay. Yo. Chill out over there. Oh, probably, yeah, maybe. Thank you for the bits. Appreciate that. You gotta be you gotta be quicker on the draw. My opponent, uh my opponent typed some letters in chat. Can we get a translator? I don't know what language this is. Any ideas? I need a translator. Alright, Gigantha has left the building. Uh let's go Shredder Alliance. I can't cast Ledger Shredder with that mana. I should probably tap differently. I will do that. My opponent says I'm cute. Aww. How nice of them. I don't, you know, I feel like that's not the direct translation, though. I think I think it might be a little off. I think it might be just a, a tad off. It's probably close, though. 
triggering my shredder. Me shredder. Discard that. Don't you think it's fucked up that standard will have all fast, slow, and pain lands for only one set? And it's kind of funny. What is the what's the land cycle that first rotates? The slow lands, right? Because the slow lands were in Innistrad, the fast lands were in New Phyrexia, and the pain lands. What's up for the pain lands in Dominaria? When does Dominaria rotate? Not this year, right? Oh, right, Dominaria and Bro. Yeah, yeah. So what rotates this year? I like how there is that is that a real website? What's in standard.com? It really is, yeah. That's sick. Good website. All right. So legal until Q4 2024. Mid Innistrad, Innistrad, Kamigawa Streets. So yeah, the only lands that rotate are the slow lands. We still have fast lands and pain lands for another year. <laughs> that is a really a useful website. Because I kind of forget sometimes. I mean, I know what's in standard, I just forget when shit rotates. I don't know when the RSQ season is standard again, because I know this season's gonna, the next season's Pioneer, and I'm pretty sure the season after that is Modern. So I would imagine the season after that, probably. Yeah, Domain is finally dead. No more Triumphs. I assume you can't play Domain without Triumphs. Your Chaotic Transformation deck doesn't rotate? Never. They would never do that to you. All right, we need to find the Profs, folks. We need to find the Prof. Can we get a prof, mod check, prof? I should have considered before resolving this. That was stupid. It's okay. We'll just drop profs. Ooh. Start with Evangel. Try to find push, and then I can push in their upkeep. I think that is my plan. Or cruise. Go. Attack with the Goblin Shaman token so I can hold up Kling. Could have sent everything. They block here, they take three. Yeah, I guess attack everything was fine. If I had one more mana, I could go consider plus clang and then trigger alliance on their turn. Should be kind of good. Winter 2025. I think so, but I'm not 100% positive. That would kind of make sense in, in terms of like if they want to keep the rotation the same, where it's the last one of the year is standard, the first one of the new year is pioneer, then the middle one is modern. Because I think there's just, there's just three a year, right? There's, like, a long period of time where there's not even a Pro Tour, too. There's, like, a six-month period where there's no Pro Tours. Because I, I think they have Worlds instead in that time frame. How big is this thing? Two, four, huh? Yeah, I'm just going to take five. I need. I want to save Chimp Blockers for the, the Crackling Drake. So let's just cycle this. Three, four. Three, four, five... Need to find push for this thing. How many pushes do I have left? I have two. All right, there's one of them. How do you think Demir and Standard is affected by rotation? Uh, the only thing... What is it? Innistrad, Streets of Nuka Penna, and Kamigawa. What, is, what does Demir even lose? Channel lands? I don't, I don't know that it loses anything else, though, right? I don't think that it does. Just the traditional Demir midrange deck. Profs is going to take a big hit, though. Profs loses Shredder, which is kind of tough. Yeah, it's really it's really difficult to play Profs without Shredder. Loses Gix. No, Gix was in uh, Brother. Gix was in Bro. Doesn't lose Gix. Oh, right. I guess normal Demir loses make disappear, which could be an issue. I think I'm going to consider first. That's why I wanted to consider first. Song. All right, so now we go here. Guess Profs. I know they get the Shredder Shredder, but it's not that big of a deal. I do have two shredders, but I think it's fine. It was a tricky game. They discarded a treasure cruise. What? What? All right. Uh, let's go counters on. I think the. Sh Wait, how many? How many counters is this? It's two, right? Because I went consider props, so I can only make a four-four. Three cards in hand. I have to be a little bit careful. I think I have to leave three creatures back to block. Three, six, nine. Okay, let's go counters here. Yes, we just attack with the Shaman token. I'm doing this because I want to play around Spell Beers. I'm going to push the Crackling Drake. I just need to I need to get a second mana source to play around Spell Beers. Push after blocks. I mean, they're not going to trade with the Drake, right? They're blocking with the Shred every time. So now we're kind of at a point where we have enough Chump Blockers, and we can start just loading up on one, on one dude. Or we can even make like two 4-4s four or something. 
yeah, their Shredder was already triggered. They discarded Treasure Cruise last turn, which is kind of concerning. I mean, how many cruises have they seen at this point? One, two, three. So they, oh, they've gone through all four. Okay, sure. They're going to deck. I guess that's why they didn't cast the cruise, right? Or why they got rid of the cruise. They just were worried about decking. So, I mean, I get the, I guess at this point, we just have to survive, right? Just like chump, chump, take three. I think taking three is okay. They have three cards in hand, one of which is probably... I mean, we kind of think they have Spell Pierce the way they played last turn. Okay, that's a little unfortunate. Don't hold me in. Okay, that doesn't really help. I would love to find a spell here to try... Because this is not a May. I can force them to draw with, uh, with Shredder. Oh, I have Cling to Dust. Right, I have Cling. I mean, hold on. I guess I should just go to combat first if my plan is Cling Phoenix. Right, like we just go to combat. Counters here. Hit for... Five. All right, it's dead. No attacks. Yeah, I'm going to cling the Phoenix now to force them to draw. Because I'm pretty sure I can just survive. It's kind of nice that I have to cling to. So now they go to five cards in deck. They go to four after their draw step. We can double spell next turn to put them on two cards. They only have two combat steps to kill us. Yeah, and I can just do the same thing next turn. And they're down one more Phoenix, which means they only have one Phoenix left, right? Okay. So now we just go chump, 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 take two. Yeah, we're just going to deck them at this point. Double block Phoenix. I guess double block Phoenix wasn't too bad, yeah. That might, that might not have been too bad. Is this a deck them strategy? Absolutely. <laughs> I am 100% trying to deck them. All right, negate resolves. I would like you to draw two cards with your Ledger Shredder, please. Although I guess we don't get to draw a card now. Oh, no, I can't with Dream Thief, right? Yeah. I can just activate Dream Thief. Uh, any spell works, right? Three, yeah, any spell works. So we Dream Thief now to get an extra blocker. Or two extra blockers, rather. And we should be able to deck them next turn. Yep. <laughs> when the Phoenix deck goes a little too deep. All right, game three. That was nice. Grixis Mill. Okay, uh, I'm on the draw with Double Dream Thief. I'm keeping. Maybe they should have sideboarded into more cards. Yeah, that's true. There is one attracts the Incarnation decks. Kind of surprised they boarded. They they still they're still at sixty in the post board games. After getting decked game to game two, you would think they would want to try to prevent that. All right, we really need to draw land here. Perhaps the sand was a bit too greedy. Perhaps I'm not saying hundred percent, but perhaps. Oh, okay. A fellow one land enjoyer, I see. I mean, at least we're on even flooding, right? They also don't have another cantrip, because they would have main phased if they try and hit their land drop, right? Okay. Who finds land two first? Doesn't look like it's them. No! Damn it. All right. Land? Uh, Land, please? Land, please? Are you going to spell pierce my <laughs> All right, sure. Yeah, that's fine. Kling has been pierced. Good beats. Oh, they found two lands. That's not fair. That's cheating. At least we got some 1-1s one to pressure them a little bit. Okay. So they have Cruise. They hit Shredder, Shredder, Phoenix, Opt. We do have the clock. They put Opt into hand. About the same. Brother. <laughs> All right. I attack. I mean, at some point this game, I will draw a second land. I promise you. At some point this game, a second land will be acquired. Now, is it going to be next turn? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. I haven't I haven't played Standard since the RC Cuban Plomsky. There's just, like, there's not a lot of reason to play Standard right now, especially with the new set coming out. Like, too many things are going to change with the new set, so there's just not really a, a point in playing it now. Have you considered putting more than one land in your deck, Mr. Streamer? I mean, I thought about it, but... No second spell pierce, please. Gringe. All right, your turn. I guess we have lost. We had a lot of looks at a second land. I'm just I'm just throwing that out there. We had a lot of looks. I think the keep is fine. I still, I still stand by it. I stand by my keep... They have located a negate. They have a cantrip. I'll probably pack this one in. Oh, they have cruise. I think they have cruise. Good enough for me. All right. Well, you know, never draw a second land. Have 
I think we had, what, like nine looks at the second land between the three surveils and our six draw steps. So <laughs> good beats. But uh, yeah, deck was sick. I was a big fan of it. I'm not exactly sure what I would want to change moving forward. I wasn't the biggest fan of the Izzet Charms. Those ones were maybe a little sketchy. The mana base needs some work too. I think 12 fast lands is way too many if your plan is to try and like get to spots where you can Gigantha or activate Improbable Alliance. Like you saw in the league, we just had too many spots where our six land came into play tap. So keep that in mind. But yeah, thanks again to Sir Eccles for submitting this for a donation deck. Hope you had a great time. If you're watching this on YouTube, like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, YouTube.